Today I'm going to make my, my favorite Martin and Fisher lure, and it is pretty basic. I got something sweet, some kind of jam. I've got a petroleum jelly for the base. I've got some uh, anise oil, and I've got the contents of what's in here. This is the most important part. There's pure quill in here. Believe it or not, the pure quill is in a jar, in two bags, surrounded by cat litter, buried in this bucket and lid sealed on, and I still know it's there really well. Anyway, really simple. We got to get the petroleum jelly melted first before it's going to take any uh, uh, any lure or mix with the jam or anything else, right? So I take and dig it out, and I'm going to melt it on my on my coal stove. I'm doing this out in the in the shop today because Sandy will not allow <laughs> will not allow that pure quill that skunk from. Uh, our buddy, Ryan Demchinski, she won't allow that in the house. I can't blame her because my clothes smell for days afterwards. And that's just being around it. That's not spilling any on you. So I get all of this out, get her into my bucket here, and then onto the coal stove to melt. If you don't melt this, your jam, your uh, anise oil, and your skunk won't mix with it. It's really strange how it works. But if you get it melted, get it liquid, then you can get everything stirred in. Oh, I already spilt. There we go. All right. Once I got it liquid, I start adding my other stuff in, my uh, anise oil and my jam. I keep it on the heat just because it's going to want to coagulate on me. It's going to want to turn back to that semi-paste again, right? I don't know. I don't know if it matters what kind of jam it is. This is uh, some leftover raspberry and leftover apricot. I know for sure the Martin and Fisher around here have never seen an apricot, but I do know they eat a lot of raspberry and strawberry. I think just sweet kind of matters. I just had stuff in the fridge. We're not big jam eaters here, and that's what we, we got into. So now I'm going to mix this all in real good and then it's going to be time to put the magic ingredient in. I'm just letting that jam warm up in there in that in the petroleum jelly. Poof. <coughs> There you go. See, that is pure quill. See that red color? That is beautiful. See that yellow mustard in the bottom? That is drawn straight out of the skunk. No dilution there. So I'm going to mix them together, and then I've got two jars here that I'm going to pour, the, pour it all into. The jam wants to separate from the petroleum as it sets up, so you've got to keep turning it over. but. That is like on there. And I really don't want to bobble this. Oh my goodness. This stuff is so powerful. All you smell, to me, is actually I don't even smell anymore. I taste, I taste garlic. Now you see why I have a, a 
cover on here so I can burn it. <laughs> I just keep shaking it up as it cools. If you keep shaking it, agitating it well as it cools, you can see how, how it's going to, the jam is going to suspend in the petroleum jelly, which is great. That's exactly what you want. Uh, but it takes a lot of shaking as it cools. And then I like to, at, at the, the final part, when it's starting to get really thick, I like to just stand it on, on its top like that. So then when I use this out in the field and I, I screw that lid off, my, my lure is right there. It's not down at the bottom, and I'm not, I'm not looking for a stick to go digging for. Simple. Rich's old-fashioned Martin and Fisher lure. <laughs> there we go. I got a bunch of stuff to burn. Simple, easy, effective. Works good for me.